Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mighty Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, another day, another freaking script ASIC. So now, just like we've been saying was going to happen, we do have a new entry. This is coming now from Ivy Link, which is a more familiar name. I'm going to talk about the Ivy Link BML3. We have the specs, release dates, which is now, price points. We'll look at profitability and we'll see how it stacks up to the competition. See if this thing is going to be worth looking at. So, if that sounds good, guys, stay tuned. Let's get right to this thing. So, this is probably going to be a pretty quick one because this thing is straight trash. This is one of the worst new releases in reality for anything in a long time, especially from a known company. And this is even factoring in Gold Show. So, the Ivy Link BML3 just came out. No mention on their socials, no mention on their website nothing at all which i don't blame them because i'd be embarrassed of this thing too so 3.2 giga hash at 3000 watts for a 0.94 joules to mega hash efficiency as far as profitability goes which is unfortunate what people are going to be looking at it is making money and again this is the thing that as these coins run which doge is still continuing to freaking moon damn near anything is going to become profitable Okay, so just fully expect that every manufacturer is going to pull out all the old shit from last cycle they weren't able to sell, and they're going to be dumping this stuff on the market. Okay, this is a prime example, and we're going to see it with all the others. So in terms of comparisons, so again, keep in mind this efficiency, and let's just do easy comparisons, which to another release that wasn't too hot on the efficiency front, but density kind of could make sense, and it's that Gold Shell DG Max. 6.5 giga hash at 3400 watts uh, again just eyeballing it this thing which we're kind of like not too big fans of because of the efficiency this thing is half the efficiency of that okay that's pretty freaking bad and it gets just worse and worse as we compare it to newer models so now let's compare it to the l7 which again mind you is a three-year-old asic it's nearly three times as efficient as this brand new BML3, which is a brand new, probably not. It was probably leftover crap from last cycle that's been sitting in a storage container for four years. It gets even more ridiculous when we compare it to the L9 and their 0.21 joules of mega hash, nearly a 5x increase in efficiency. I also have to factor in that a lot of these other Smaller manufacturers such as Volk Miner, we saw this Flu Miner thing, as well as others, are all using a similar platform chip here to this efficiency. This is an embarrassment. Okay, this is actually pretty damn close to L3 efficiency. Okay, this is factory settings, but when you overclock them, people do like Hive, they underclock them, undervolt. It's not too far off from that. Okay, it is that bad, this thing. Okay, so if you're a person with free power and you're able to get this thing immensely, immensely cheap, um, even then, honestly, get some damn L3s, right? It's, again, borderline laughable. But, again, this is the hype cycle, right? This is what we're expecting to happen. It's beginning with Doge. Expect to see this with every other altcoin ASIC as they begin to pump. If they pump sooner, especially, right? A lot of them sometimes don't pump till the end of the bull market. They could pump at any given time. Who freaking knows? The name of the game is to get that ASIC before the pump if you're still interested in even purchasing ASIC at this point. Again, like we've been mentioning, the time to do this was these past two and a half years when nobody wanted to get in. Those were the times, okay? But buying stuff like this, especially at the prices, now let's look at the prices. Miner Bros has it listed at 2800 bucks, which would be an absolute no, especially considering the DG Max is somewhat close to there. Let's look at their price, actually. Let's see how much has probably gone up quite a bit just because of all the hype. Let's see what they have it at now. At four grand. Yep, so it's gone up. So stuff to think about, stuff to consider. I mean, this thing is sold out, as is the regular DG1M. But again, for that efficiency, it'd have to be, like, super cheap. Again, BT Miner is one of the only other ones that has it listed. 
and they have it at 2500 bucks, right? So fairly similar price point because after shipping, it's probably going to be as expensive as that. But again, because of that efficiency, I would have zero interest, right? Realistically, uh, you'd be much better off buying some of the damn little DG Home ones, if anything, right? Which everything, again, is just going to continue to creep up, right? And also people are kind of expecting, like, oh, maybe Dojo Retrace. Even if it retraces, I don't really see much of a difference in these prices, right? So kind of to each their own. I guess if you have free power, I honestly, like I mentioned, uh, dumpster. <laughs> like, bad, bad release. It's, I don't know, borderline laughable, right? But to each their own. This is just my viewpoint on it, again, with any ASICs. Especially with anything I'm purchasing now, I would be looking for things to hold on beyond this bull market, right? Which is why Script Asics, in reality, are still somewhat appealing depending on the price point. Okay, just because I do feel confident that most likely even after this bull market, if we do go into the traditional cycle, it is something that can potentially sustain itself for the efficient models, right? Ideally, you want like L9+, Plus, right? Which... It seems like a lot of these other manufacturers are also able to achieve, achieve a similar efficiency. So that's where the appeal would be. This guy, uh, in about 18 to 24 months from now, probably not going to be doing too hot. Okay, so again, for me, it's not ideal just because of my strategy. If you're a person who's just running it for pure hash rate, like again, some people, that's their strategy right now. They don't give an F about efficiency. It's all about hash rate. That's not my viewpoint. My viewpoint is completely different from that, but kind of to each your own, right? You have to come up with your strategy and see what makes sense to you and what you're going to prioritize. And for me, if I'm going to buy anything, it's going to be something that's efficient, something that's going to last me, again, longer than these, like, 12 months that we have here potentially. Okay, so if anything, this is just more for awareness. It's just hopefully they have something else in the pipeline. Again, I... Most likely, this is junk that's been in a storage container for last cycle, right? But to raise your own, guys, let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Do you think do you think we're going to start getting nearly weekly releases at this point of Script A6? Because that's pretty much what it feels like, and that's probably what it's going to be like, right? So <laughs> let me know in the comments what do you guys think of this thing. Are you going to be buying one? Did you pre-order one? Uh, you better not be. But let me know in the comments, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.